I did all of these curls with all of this volume and all of this definition with no heat and just this string. Yeah. So I saw this hack on TikTok a couple of months ago and I played around with it so many times and it just was not working in my hair. I tried everything and I think my hair is just too dry and coarse and frizzy. So after many failed attempts, I came up with this routine and it's actually working really, really well. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you guys in this video. So I wanted to film this on a wash day for you guys so you can see the entire process beginning to end. Because my hair is naturally curly and frizzy, it's also naturally dry, so I always like to stick to moisturizing uh, hair products in my hair at all times. So today I'm gonna be going in with Herbal Essences Hello Hydration Deep Moisturizing Shampoo and Conditioner. This entire line is PETA cruelty free, dermatologist tested, and mineral oil and paraben free. It's probably the best smelling shampoo I've honestly ever used. So now I'm just gonna very quickly shampoo my hair. They gave me a very nice lather so I know my hair is nice and clean. So now I'm going to go in with the conditioner and I'm going to go in mids to ends. Alright, so now my hair is completely clean, it's moisturized and it smells really, really good. So now we're going to go ahead and get into our styling. So I did try using this heatless style technique overnight with wet hair. When I woke up the next morning, my hair was still soaking wet. So. Unless I leave it in for like two days, it's definitely not an option to do it with my hair soaking wet. So you have two options. You can either let your hair dry naturally, let it air dry, um, or you can kind of give it a bit of a kickstart and dry it with a blow dryer. I prefer doing that because it also gives me an opportunity to smooth a lot of the kinks and frizz and curl out of my hair. Okay, so you can see my hair is very roughly straightened out with the flat brush. And I left about like 10% moisture in my hair, which is key for making this style work in my coarse hair. So we're gonna go ahead and just get right into it. And you wanna basically part your hair down the center all the way back so that you have kind of roughly two even sections. And I'm gonna grab my rope string and we're gonna make it kind of even all the way to the end. And so right here up top, we're gonna grab the centermost point and we're gonna center it like an inch away from our hairline. I know this looks crazy, but trust me, it works. Okay, so we're gonna clip it right up top, okay? So the key to making this style work is making sure that you have tension in your hair. So tension means that you have a solid grip and you're tightening it quite a bit. Obviously you don't wanna make this hurt, but you want to wrap it pretty tight. We're gonna go ahead and grab a section in the front, like so. And all we're gonna do is grab our rope and we're gonna wrap it all the way around. And literally, that's it. That's all we're gonna be doing for the duration of this style. So now we're gonna grab a second section and we're gonna kind of combine it with this. Grab our robe, circle all the way around. Remember to keep your tension all the way around. So what I like to do after the first couple of sections is start with the hair up here and I like to kind of loop it around like so. So the parting kind of looks like that. And you're gonna combine it with this section and loop it all the way around. And remember to keep your grip. Bring it back over to the front. And just continue the pattern nice and slow until you get the hang of it. So when I'm tightening it, I'm making sure that the robe is actually sitting right against my scalp. So nice and tight, all the way around. Keep the sections in your hands as close to your scalp as possible so you can maintain that tight grip. And bring it all the way around. And now we're gonna grab this last section, nice and tight. and continue rotating all the way around, nice and tight. And as you're wrapping the remainder of the hair, you wanna give it a gentle twist as you wrap. That'll give you a little bit more of a modern finish at the end. 
You wanna wrap it as close to the end as you possibly can and keep a really, really tight grip. And in the same direction that you've been twisting the hair, you're gonna twist the robe back like so, and you're just gonna wrap the remaining string and then just kind of tuck it in. You look nice and crazy, but trust the process. <laughs> so we're just gonna go ahead and get started once again. We're gonna go all the way around, grab a new piece of hair, combine it with this section, and continue wrapping with a really tight grip. And once we get to about the third section, we're gonna start taking some pieces from the top and we're gonna curve them all the way to the front of the hairline. And we're gonna combine that section with this hair and continue looping it all the way around, keeping a very tight grip. So you guys see that frizz and a little bit of that natural texture coming up on the back of my head. The only way to get rid of that in this heatless style is to maintain a really tight grip and really pull that section when I'm wrapping it. If I wrap it loosely, all that frizz and all of that natural wave is gonna still be there at the end and it's not gonna look polished. So make sure that you really stretch that hair out on the roots as you're wrapping. And you'll notice by the time you get to the second side that you've pretty much gotten the hang of the pattern and you should fly through this section a little bit quicker. Make sure it's nice and tight when you get to the end and give it just a couple of extra twists in the same direction that you've been wrapping and loop it back and wrap it all the way around making sure those ends are nice and secure and then you're just gonna kind of take a little and just loop it in now that we look nice and crazy we're gonna leave it for about five to six hours or overnight and we're gonna see the results so i will see you guys in a bit i'm gonna go cook some lunch all right so moment of truth uh, so we're going to go ahead and start unraveling. I could just leave it like this, not bad. Alright, so then you want to be kind of gentle and just start at the bottom and then work your way up. When you're unwrapping these curls, I try to do it section by section. If you start splitting it up, it's going to not look as polished in the end. So just kind of take your time here and unravel it from the bottom, working your way up until you get to the very top. Okay, so this is where we're at, and I'm just gonna quickly shake them out. Isn't that insane, guys? This is all without a single bit of heat or curling iron to my hair. How amazing is that? Okay, guys, as always, I will leave direct links for all of the products that I used down below. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye!